Hey guys, how's it going? Today I want to do just kind of a quick review for you guys on the Hobart Handler 140 MIG welder. Um, I hadn't seen too many reviews in it, so I thought I'd just kind of give you guys uh, my two cents, just kind of based off my experience with it, and let you know what I thought about it. Um, I should mention real quick too, I actually found a pretty good deal on this welder, and I'll put a link to that deal in the description below so you can check that out if you're interested in picking one up for yourself. So I'll tell you right off the get-go, um, in my opinion, if you're looking for I hate to even call it an entry-level MIG welder. Um, it's an entry-level MIG welder because of the price, but it's you'll never need anything better than this. Um, this is the one to get, in my opinion. Now, uh, I should mention that this isn't a sponsored video. Hobart's not paying me or anything to make this video. This is just purely my opinion, um, so I thought I would clarify that too. But if you're a home gamer or even uh, even on the commercial level, if you want a really good quality MIG welder and you don't want to spend an absolute fortune on it, this is the one to get. This will do quarter inch mild steel no problem. Um, it works good. They've really kind of perfected this design over the last 30 or so odd years that they've been in business. It's simple to use. It's easy to get started on. It's not intimidating or anything like that. And it just works really, really good. It runs off a standard 115 volt household plug. You don't need anything fancy for it. You plug it right in the wall and it works. It's built like an absolute tank. It's assembled in Ohio in the United States, uh, made in the USA, and it welds exceptionally good, especially for the price. Uh, $2,000 welders I've used, some of them have not even welded as good as this thing does. That's how good a deal this one is. It's really a no-brainer if you're looking for your first welder, something you want to use around the house, uh, and definitely your last welder. Um, in terms of durability, it will last a lifetime, and in terms of value, you'll never need anything better than this one for 99% of the people out there. Anyway, if you have any more questions about it, just leave them in the comments below. I'll try my best to answer them for you. Thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate it, and have a great day.